God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God and that is why we are here. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, we thank God we are in His house here and we shall live with the blessings we deserve because we are in His presence. We are still continuing with the saints unless you tell me to stop. We have to know how the saints went to heaven and which saints we should do plead through for particular uh, particular intentions. Then you can pray. They are on record 10,000 canonized the saints. But it does not mean that they are the only ones in heaven. Now today we have a special saint. Cupertino, he was a priest. And you will wonder. That's why non Catholics look at us as the people who are worshiping idols, people who they, they, they know better than us. That is how they, they, they assume. But I'm telling you, God is a mystery. And don't you always wonder how, how such a story is true, like this one of today. Who can believe, even they will call us madmen, that uh, this is a of today, St. Joseph Cupertino, the priest, when he was celebrating Mass, the congregation would see the saint going up by himself. And even going over the congregation and the course behind them. Are uh, we not being called a lunatic if you will tell a non Catholic such a story? But the people who have given us the records, you think they were mad? You think they are exaggerating? Didn't Jesus go on foot? Didn't Jesus go up when they were seeing him? Didn't Jesus? Multiply just bread and a fish, five loaves and two fish. Did he say that you will even do greater things than I have done? Don't argue with the people. Just know that everything is possible with Jesus. Why? Because he gave the powers. And when he gives the powers, don't think that he looks for those who are with PhDs or those who are very devoted. Then he says, that's the one I'm going to give this. No. The same we are going to reflect on today in, in our book is a, a child. Was a child of 12 years. Now this child of 12 years does not even know anything about theology, about uh, philosophy, nothing. But the works of God, we are going to be surprised those who don't know St. Agnes. And she's not the only one of 12 years. Who else do you know, Mama, you know the saints, who, who, which other small of a girl also of 12 years? Yes, Maria Covet. I knew she would tell me the answer. Saint Philomene, 13 years. So we should have something at the back of our minds if we are in the Catholic Church and we want to, 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 to believe these stories about the saints. We must know that since it is the Manifestation of God's divine power in them to do those uh, strange, strange.
20 uh, miracles. Then it is not themselves. It is it, it, uh, how, well, how could you, uh, Father uh, Joseph Kopeti, rise up when we know very well those who have gone to school, we know about to grab it. Everybody knows when you jump up, you must come down. It is Jesus showing us that he can just pick on anybody. Like now, that one, was Joseph Kupetin was a priest. But the one we are reflecting on, she was not even a sister. She was not even qualified to be a sister because she was under age. But the powers of God were working through her. Those who are not educated, like Catherine of Siena, no, no formal education at all, completely illiterate, not even knowing how to, to write uh, whether they let or no. But Jesus picked on her. She started getting the visions of Jesus and Mary. And the church, that's how the humility of the, our Catholic Church is. They really saw that this is not witchcraft. Whatever she would tell even the priest, they saw it was really from God. She became the advisor of the Pope. She even became the mediator when they exiled the Pope to negotiate between the Vatican and the, the other enemies of the Pope. And one time she, she went to the enemies because they knew this girl is the one who is a stumbling block. Now, people thought she is going to be killed since she is on the uh, negotiating for the Pope. Catherine came back very disappointed. She thought, uh, she said, I wanted them to kill me so that I go to heaven. Mm -hmm. God still wanted her to, to do what we are now learning. Centuries are the centuries. So, that is uh, Pupetino, uh, Father we talk about him more, but uh, we have uh, many days, like uh, 15th, that was seven, seven sorrows, our level of sorrow, the seven sorrows, then 17th, I'm reading from my Catholic calendar, 17th September was the impression of uh, the stigmata on St. Francis. So when you hear the uh, Padre Pio getting the wounds of Jesus, you know, he was not the, the first. But he was the first priest, St. Francis, who got them, the open ones. Others had those which were not the open pretty, but paid him. Uh, St. Francis of Assis was a deacon. He refused to be promoted to, to a priest. Then he, on the 12th, uh, I told you last time, uh, that was the holy name of Mary. And then on the 14th, we saw on Saturday, it was the exaltation of the cross. So you can see September is full of uh, holy days. Now we are in the November of our patron saint, Saint Paul. Then Saint Matthew, the apostle on the 21st. And we shall finish our month in, they call it liturgical calendar, arranging. If you don't have a, a, a Catholic calendar in your house, you are missing a lot, because this is where you can identify somebody. Which name the family can pick for baptism. It is not only this one from Living Rosary, but it, all of the calendars which are from the Catholic Church have got saints on them, the feast days. So today, let's see here. Uh, it is the only one I have, but as uh, a server, we one, I will check if it came on the one copy. All right. Saint Agnes, the feast day given here is the 21st of January. And they are, they are described, 
water, the dam was down there, he threw her there, they threw her there, after these soldiers had died. Then what happened, the angels just came and lifted her and put her aside. Hey! Forty days she was tortured, that Philomene. Forty days, and Mother Mary appeared to her. When she was being tortured, he said, My daughter, you have suffered. But at the end of the, the 40 days, that's why we have again 40 days special in our Catholic Church. It has got a meaning, 40, the number 40. The Israelites were in the, in, the, in the wilderness going to the promised land 40 years. Jesus fasted in the, in the desert 40 days and 40 nights. The Noah's flood, it rained 40 days, 40 nights. Jesus was in the tomb 40. Eh? 40 what? Because you know only three days is uh, when Jesus was in the tomb. He was there for 40 what? My class should be sharp. 40 hours. 40 hours. If you now calculate, because he was buried in the evening of, of, of Friday, then you, the whole Saturday, then the morning of Sunday, you will get 40, 40 hours. Jesus was in the tomb. So 40, 40. So at the end of the 40 uh, days, this digression, after getting so humiliated, I said, let me see if uh, her uh, God, God, the power of her, uh, her God is sick, uh, can he do anything to me. He got a sword uh, and uh, finished Philomena. So now we are back to our arguments. We are going to see the similarity. First of all, I've told you the age, almost the same, 13, 12. So what happened? She refused. And that was uh, an embarrassment to, to the dictator. In the midst of idolatrous rites, she raised her hands to Christ, her spouse, and made the sign of the life-giving life cross. Don't please, don't forget that it will the a, a girl of the they have gone to school who would have picked it. On one who is the 12 and she comes here. And you, of course you have children who are even 12 years. How can such a, a small child of 12 years, when they are gathered around that king and uh, he, his escorts with knives and swords, and then she raises her arms up to Christ and made the sign of the cross. Which these people, they were persecuting the Christians, but she had their courage. And yet we can be like me who is approaching 70 years, but I don't have that courage. But she had that courage. It is because of Jesus, the courage from Jesus. Okay, so what happened? Because she is uh, uh, violating the laws. She did not shrink when she was bound hand and foot. But uh, Satan is also terrible. Couldn't they sympathize with a child of 12 years and say, ah, you just uh, uh, take her away? No, they died. Uh, they say they bound hand and foot. They bound her. A, a, a child of 12 years. That is how you see how certain works. When you see the social media, I think it was on the news yesterday, one somebody who raped it, uh, it, is it two, 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 two years or two months? A, a small baby? The five. The five. That is certain how certain works. Because here they would have said, ah, take away the, 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 this girl, she is possessed, she, she, she is stubborn. No, they bound her. And this is because Jesus also allows them to perpetrate that evil for us, just like 
the Bible is written for us to have faith. So this is when we are going to see how Jesus even takes her to heaven and now she is a saint in our Catholic Church. So they bound her hand and foot, though the guides slipped from her young hands, and the heavens who stood around were moved to tears. Same, same, that's why God has moved me to talk about Philomena, talk about this. When Philomena, they, they were torturing her, and then the people who were spectators, you know, when they torture, they make it like a stadium, where even when you go to, to Israel, to the Holy Land, you will find where Herod, a very big stadium, where Herod used to get the priests and the followers of Jesus, then he brings the, the lions. I don't know why the lions never also attacked them. He releases their lions which are hungry to eat them. So they call people to show that which God, which God do these people believe me. But you see, when they were torturing the Philomena, eh, the, 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 the spectators got converted. They knew this is the power of God. How can they go? He thrown in the, in the water like this and then she is lifted by the angels and put her uh, 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 outside uh, on the side uh, 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 of the of that dam. So here the, the strings just broke miraculously and then the spectators were moved into tears because she does not have the power. If it was like a Sam, Samson, yes, you remember Samson killing the Philistines, Philistines and then the, the pushing the walls. He was a, a, a man, but with the powers of God. But this is a child of 23 years. Mm, let's see here more. They were moved to tear the bones were not needed for her, and she hasted gladly to the place of her torture. She did not, there was no need of tying her, because she did not have the strength to resist the, the, these evil people who are really tying her, no. So what was the use of dying? So when they broke, she just moved by herself the place where they were going to, to, torture, to torture her more and the hunger. Next, when the judge saw that pain had no terrors for her, he inflicted an insult worse than death. That is what I'm coming to. And that, what is that insult which is worse than death? Do you know that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Do you know that you can torture somebody to the extent of beating him up to death, but you cannot undress to undress somebody? Even when they, are put, they were putting people on fire squad during the Daniel's time, they were not. In, Put you, putting them on the obstacles just naked like that. No, they would tie around there, then they put a hood around the, 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 the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The dignity must be respected. That is why Adam and Eve, when they committed that original sin, the nakedness made them to be ashamed and they started hiding themselves, tying around themselves, the bodies. And this is what we are now coming to of a young girl of 23 years. So that's why it is written that the insult was worse than death. Her clothes were stripped off. When, they, when they, they say that her clothes were stripped off, please don't 
imagine that they left her with the nika or something around the waist, at least Adam and Eve, they, they wrapped the leaves of the fig trees around the waist to hide their nakedness. Nakedness implies the exposure of the private parts. That is what is nakedness. When they say that girls are walking naked in the street, no, they just mean part of their bodies, they are not covered, but Nakedness is directly pointing at the private parts of both a man or a woman. It must be respected. So her clothes were stripped off and she had to stand in the street before a pagan crowd. What a disgrace. A pagan crowd which wore the appearance even of, the, of this girl of 12 years, looking at her nakedness. No. You are going to hear what I'm going to read next. And that is where we get the curses. And you remember very well again in the Old Testament when Noah was drunk and he was naked. Remember, we have been uh, reflecting on such uh, teachings very many times. The, the son who, who, who got amused about the nakedness of, the, of Noah, his real biological father, got a curse. Why don't the other ones got a, a cloth and went backwards and covered the nakedness of their father Noah? Yeah? Now it is here. It is here now in the modern times where that was no time then what happened here. The crowd are looking at the, 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 the negative crowd, the pagan crowd. Even this did not don't her. She knew she was with Jesus. So let them do whatever they want. To, to, to her. Christ, she said, will guard his own, his own. So it was. Christ showed by a miracle the value which he sets upon the custody of the eyes. Whilst the crowd turned away, their eyes from the spouse of Christ as she stood exposed to view in the street there was one young man who dared to gaze at the innocent child with immodest eyes. A flash of light struck him blind and his companions bore him away half dead with pain and a terror. Lastly, her fidelity to Christ was proved by flattery and offers of marriage. But she answered, Christ is my spouse. He chose me first, and his I will be. At length, the sentence of death was passed. For a moment, she stood erect in prayer and then bowed her, he her neck to the sword. At one stroke, her head was severed from her body, and the angels bore her pure soul to paradise. Now, reflection of uh, this uh, episode of St. Agnes for us to meditate on, because reflection, uh, even when we, we, we listen to the word of God from the Bible, we must reflect on it and put it in practice, how it can help us. So this is the reflection uh, of the courage and the martyrdom of uh, St. Agnes. Her innocence endeared St. Agnes to Christ as it has 
endeared the her to his church ever since. Even as penitents, we may imitate this innocence of hers in our own degree. Let us strictly guard our eyes, and Christ, when he sees that we keep our hearts pure for love of him, will renew our youth and give us back the years which the canker worm has wasted. Dear brothers and sisters, this is a very touching story, especially about the nudity of the innocent people. How can people be stripped naked? It is a real disgrace. Even Adam and Eve, they had to so to get a, a, a fig leaves to tie around their waist because of the nakedness. We have already also talked about Noah, the nakedness, especially of parents or any other body because each person is created in the image of God. Nakedness to your children is a curse. I know of a workmate who exposed her nakedness, I mean his nakedness, uh, his manhood to his two sons who wanted to fight him. And then he pulled out his manhood and showed them, showed them with these words, if this is not what produced you to come in this world, come and touch me and you will see. I'm telling you the truth. The, the two boys became drug addicts. They were taking, being taken to, 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 to prison because of drug addiction. And that is a curse because of nakedness. We must really guard against the devil misusing our, the organs of eyesight. If uh, you, your eyes land on your parent who is naked, you will not be the same. It will be a very, very, very serious curse. Because the parent can look at the nakedness of the child as the child is growing up, but when the child starts maturing and even developing conscience, the bodies must be protected. And that is what happened to that young man who laughed, enjoyed the nakedness of an innocent uh, matter, St. Agnes, he was struck with blindness. What happened will continue to happen. People have committed incest, that is a real abomination. A father sleeping with his daughter, having sex, it is an abomination. A mother sleeping, having sex with her son, it is an abomination. Because the body of the parent must not be exposed to the children. If now this one was just in public, and you see those ones who were uh, ashamed of the, 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 the incident looked away, turned their eyes away, but the one who dared to uh, enjoy the nudity, of St. Agnes was struck blind. What is all this for us? Why is it recorded? It is for us to know very well that we must imitate the saints in their courage, in their faith, in their love for Jesus, in all they do, they did, it can help us also to attain the salvation, the eternal life where the saints are with the angels. Please, that is enough about St. Agnes, a very young matter 
of 12 years. I've given you even other examples like uh, Maria Gorete, also she was 12 years and she was she also uh, faced her death from Alexander who wanted to rape her but she resisted that it is a sin. You can see how Jesus can really take the innocent to heaven. Why did Jesus take take her to heaven? Because she was guarding her her purity. One, two, Saint Maria Goretta, when she was dying, she forgave Alexander the rapist, the one who was supposed to rape her. She told the mother, I have forgiven Alexander. And when Alexander was sentenced to his imprisonment, she came from heaven and appeared to Alexander, and Alexander was released after serving his term and uh, became a brother. And during the canonization of St. Maria Goretta, he was present. So we can see that forgiveness became implemented in Alexander. They would have refused him to become a brother that you, you, you attempted to rape an innocent child. No. God forgives all sorts of sins except the sin of blasphemy. Brother, sister, let us go for confession if we have misused our eyes. Let's go for confession if we have offended God in any manner. And that's a very good lesson for us. And also St. Philomena, similarly, she was also 13 years, I've already told you. The declaration also made her to, 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 to expire. But Mother Mary had told her, you have suffered for 40, uh, you are going to come to me after 40 days. And there she went to her reward. The reward is waiting for us, brother, sister. We keep praying that we imitate the courage of the saints the faith they had. All of that will make us transit to eternal life. Thank you very much for viewing me and listening to me.